and eight years ago, Rita Spikesma lost her battle with leukemia. Now, a loving daughter, sister, and mother, her family vowed to keep her memory, memory alive and raise awareness of the disease. Each year, they run for Rita, raising funds for someone else battling the, the disease. And here to tell us about the eighth annual Run for Rita is her brother, Tim. Welcome, Tim. Good morning, too. Thanks Good for morning. joining us yeah. this morning. So, this is the eighth annual Run for Rita. Yeah, and I think we've talked about it a couple of times on the show. And mm -hmm. Yep. For those who don't know about it, why don't you tell us a little bit about Rita? Well, uh, it, it's it's pretty involved, but uh, Rita is a pretty giving person. And uh, what we're trying to do with this, it's a, a local deal that we're hoping that by raising some funds that we can help people that are battling cancer have a good day. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. We're not about necessarily uh, curing cancer, but just making a difference in people's lives when they're in that struggle. All right, and Phil, you were asking right. a question uh, earlier. Uh, yeah, this was this is kind of a special time of the year uh, for you guys. There's a reason why you've picked this time to kind of do yeah. this run. Tell us a little bit about the backstory there. Well, you know, Halloween was a, a very uh, special holiday for Rita, so that's why if you go to our website and look at some of our pictures, you'll see why are these people in costume? <laughs> well, it's because uh, you can come and run in costume. You can come and be a part of the day in costume if you're not a runner, but also uh, it's... Uh, close to the anniversary when she was originally diagnosed and uh, with leukemia so that's that's all part of uh, the timing of why it is and falls a lot better time to run than July so um, where do the funds go when you're raising um, you're raising awareness you're raising funds so where do these funds go to and then also you guys have raised a good amount of those yeah, funds so too. you know um, the kind of the fundraising we do have some sponsors that help defray the cost of the t-shirts and everything for the run and so 100% of our registration can go to uh, help families in need. And so basically, over the past uh, 70 years, we've raised almost over $30,000. Incredible. To, uh, and it's, it, it's uh, again, a local deal. And it's, uh, we don't feel that we are, there's no application process, but, uh, our, you know, we're not we're led mm -hmm. to where we need help and it's a, it's a, it's an exciting thing having been a part of a couple deliveries it's a, it's a pretty powerful deal very neat and people can still sign up right yes All yes right, cuz they're about a week away about a little a week less than a week yeah yeah oh well, yeah october 12th though. october 12th i'm forgetting yeah. so less than 2 weeks away <laughs> so how can people sign up uh, the best, easiest way is probably go to our website okay. run for Rita.org right. and uh, sign up on the website and we'll see you at Paisley Park uh, October 12th at 3 p.m. And you don't have to run either, right? You don't have to run. You <laughs> don't, don't worry, have to Phil, run. you do not you have just, to run. <laughs> you can just show up and have a good time. You can show up, have a good time and, uh, you know, there's uh, always a uh, Koopy prize for the best costume. Okay, so you, you can do that. Challenge. There we go. <laughs> Lay down the all right, challenge. well, thank you so much, Tim, <laughs> yeah, for coming for on coming and telling us all about it. Mm -hmm. And for more information on Run for Reader or to watch this interview again in its entirety,